Right, welcome back, Megabytes. Uh, for those that don't know me, my name is Jonathan. I'm the children's librarian here at the Ashburton Public Library. Um, welcome to our series on making a side-scrolling platformer. Um, this is the third part in this series, um, and in today's episode, we are creating a way of gaining points. So as you go through the level, you can um, pick up treasure, you know, coins and treasure and things um, to gain points in the game. Um, if you have only just joined us, you can click up on the corner there and click on the card and it will take you to our first episode in this series. Right, going straight on with it. Uh, first thing we need to do here is create a score. So set score to zero and that just goes in the bottom of our on start. Um, list um, and in our tile maps so you'll have multiple levels and each level um, you need to go through and put in what we call markers so um, what I've done is I've created my own tiles um, just basic um, single color tiles um, and this is to tell the game where I want coins to be placed um, here we go, and the pink one here I created to say where I want a treasure chest to be placed. Uh, you're going to go through and do that for each of your levels. Okay, and third level there, we've put them, put them in there. Okay, once you've done that, um, you'll see that they appear on the screen, but we're going to make those disappear um, very shortly. So what we're going to do is you're going to create um, a new oh, function. Create a new function. And the first one we're going to call one point. Okay, and this is for our coins. And you can make make it whatever you like. You could be collecting um, gems or or whatever it is you want to collect. Um, okay, uh, and oops, I've just got two screens just so I can see what I'm doing. Um, and what you need to do is grab, go into loops, and for element value of list there, and array of all. Array of all locations goes there. Um, and then we need our coin. So we need sprite. So our, our coins, our things we're collecting are all counted as sprites. Um, and in this instance, I mean, you can create your own, you can create whatever you like. Um, but in this instance, I'm going to grab a coin that exists in the gallery here. Cool. All right. And we're going to need to create some new variables. So I pre-created these in learning how to do it. So I uh, created my variable called coin. And of a kind, again, you need to create a kind uh, called coin. Okay. Um, right. Next, we need to place on top of. So that's in the scene. And we want to place on top of this one here. So place coin on top of value. So we're going to take the value from here, stick it in there. Oops. The whole thing, there we go. Um, right. Uh, now, in the array of all locations, this needs to become uh, yellow locations. So, it, so what I'm saying is um, value becomes all yellow locations in this instance. So for all yellow locations, we're going to set coin, which is this thing here, and we're going to place the coin on top of all values. So all values being all yellow locations. So 
on all yellow locations, I want you to put a coin on those yellow locations. Right, the last thing we need to do is um, I'll show you something very quickly here. So what you need to do um, is under functions call point one. So you need to bring these into existence for each level. So one for each one for each level. Okay. I should bring this up over here. All right. So now our coins are appearing on the yellow locations, which is great, but we don't want the yellow locations to actually be there. We want the yellow locations to be invisible. So to make that happen, uh, we need to jump into scene and we need to oh, come down and sit. Sit at. Okay, and we're going to take the value again and put it on there. And we're now going to change this. So this um, represents, um, well, nothing really. It just represents an invisible. It's whatever's going to be there is going to show through to the background, whatever's in our background. So it means that the um, yellow, so anything at the value, which is all the yellow locations, is just going to be invisible. It's not going to be anything. So in that case, you're going to see what's behind it, which is our background. And as you can see on the game, you can see the coins sitting in, uh, sitting where we've placed them, and they, they there is no yellow block there anymore. So well done. Now, as you can see when I play the game, our character can't pick up the coin, so we need to code it in to tell tell the game when we run over the coins with our character that we want the coin to be collected, essentially. Um, so if we just move over a little further, um, this is a sprite interaction. So overlaps, so on sprite of a game player overlaps, another sprite. Um, We are going to, uh, now, we need to say, so we're sure a little further there. Um, so when Sprite of a Kind player, which is our sprite, overlaps um, other Sprite of a Kind not player, when it overlaps coin, we want it to destroy the coin. We want the coin just to disappear, so it appears that we've collected it. Um, so where are we going to destroy, there we are, sorry, destroy the coin, uh, no we don't, now, trick, if I said destroy coin it would destroy all coins, and we don't want it to do that, so we want it to destroy other sprite, so other sprite being the coin that we've just passed over, um, and then we need to change our score, so our score increases by one, because so our one point um, item. Change score by one. And we want it to make a little jingle, um, just so it makes it nice and obvious for the player to know that they've um, collected it. So we have a little bidding when he crosses over. All right, let's give that a wee go. So we jump and we collect bidding. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is making a little bidding noises, which is nice. Let's see if we can find our ah, oh, and there is our pink block down there. So we need to make our five point option, which is our treasure chest. So let's do that now. So basically, we're going to create no. We're going to create a new function because otherwise we'll get confused. Function. Create a function, this is called five points. So, new five point function. But we can steal this and check it in here, and we'll just change the elements. 
So you can do this as many times as you like um, for as many different objects um, that you want to collect. It's up to you. I'm just going to do it twice just so you can see how I would do that. Um, and of course, so the chest is for the pink locations. And we need to create a new um, variable called treasure and a new kind, which I call treasure chest. For some reason, it won't let you make it the same. I don't know why it did with coin, but anyway, for treasure chest, I, I had to make the name slightly different, but that's okay. Um, so here we've got treasure chest, and obviously that doesn't look like a treasure chest. We need to make a new one. So I use the treasure chest from the gallery Right down the bottom here it is this one here, and then I edited it slightly, so I actually have it in here um, in my assets. Here it is. So my assets is anything you've created in the past. Um, we can go down on that one. So there's my treasure chest. Uh, it'll be on the pink values, and it is again treasure. And that's fine, that's fine. And in our in here we need to call up five points. Otherwise that won't show up. So I call five points and I'll copy that one. And down there. Excellent, so that will call up the treasure chests in their given locations, so let's just test this out. We've got our coins, making their nice little ba-ding ba-ding. Oh, and there's my treasure chest just there. Alright, and one thing I haven't done, is I haven't made it add to the um, total yet. So we'll just do this. So... We can just copy and paste the entire block and just change some of the words around. So obviously it's not coin, it is treasure chest. And that's identical. This score goes up by five. And instead of a bidding, we want it to make something slightly different because it's a um, it's something a bit bigger, something a bit more exciting. So we're going to say a magic wand sound. Um, which makes a nice little jingly noise. So we'll go through that. Hopefully you can hear it. Um, and do -lo -lo -lo. That's good. Okay, and jump to the end. There we go. All right. Now, another um, problem that seems to arise is going to die there and start again, um, is, I'm going to try and skip a few points so we can see what happens here, In my treasure chest, there we go, so now what happens is if you don't collect everything on a level, it seems to transfer on to the next level, so all of a sudden I've got all these like random coins lying around that are in strange places um, that shouldn't be there. Uh, like the treasure chest there, which is in the wrong place, because uh, it's from the last level. So what we need to do is we need to put in some code around getting clearing, basically clearing the screen before each level appears. Um, so to do this, what we need to do is come back here and scroll on my other screen here. It's got to get my prompts here. Um, right, so for um, before it chooses, now this is really important, you can't just stick it at the bottom, it does have to go above this happens. Um, right, so because when code is read, it always goes down through. Sometimes it doesn't matter what order things are in, um, but for some things, the order is really important because if you put it in the wrong order, it's not going to happen on the screen the way you want it to happen. Um, so we want to clear. Um, uh, so uh, four elements, uh, four element value of list. I'm going to stick this in here. 
Um, and there is a one in here that says, it's down the bottom here, it says array of sprites of kind, uh, of kind player, and we're going to chuck that on top of list and change this to coin. And we want to destroy um, just down here, destroy. There we go. And not my sprite, of course, we want to destroy value. So that will destroy any floating coins um, that didn't get picked up from the last level. Um, if I put this here, whoops, yeah, I'll take that out and check it back in there. there we go. If I put this down the bottom, you'll see what I mean by if you put something in the wrong place, it won't work. Because what will happen is it will call up the points first and then it will destroy it so therefore you've got to destroy it before it calls the new coins into place we can take that out right this goes back up the top just so you can see that so now it's just basically clearing everything off the screen, or all the coins off the screen at least, and then bringing them into being once it's drawn the map. Um, so we also need to do the same with the treasure chest. So we can do the same thing here. Copy and paste it. And just change that to treasure chest. Um, Cool, so now it will clear all the coins and all the treasure chests. Obviously you create one of these for every element that you need to clear um, before each new level. Um, there is, um, for example, later on, um, when we come to it in our video series, we're going to be creating enemies. And of course you want to clear off any enemies um, before you go on to the next level. Otherwise you have extra enemies so if you didn't clear all the enemies in the last level they're all going to transfer onto the next level so you don't want that so you're going to do the same thing again for the for your enemies all right that's it for now and we will see you uh, in the next video um we'll see you there bye